It is 434, November 12th, 2012, and I now call this library board meeting to order. At this time, we will determine the quorum, and we do have a quorum today. And now we will approve the minutes. Do I have a motion to approve the minutes of the June 1st, 2012 regular meeting? Motion to approve. A motion to approve. Do I have a second? I'll second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The motion carries. We have two orders of business today on our agenda. Uh, the first motion, first order of business is a motion to install locks on public restroom doors. Now at this time, do I need to have a motion before I can open up for discussion, or can we open for discussion first? Make a motion. Okay, do we have a motion to install locks on public restroom doors? I'll make a motion. We have a motion to, to install locks. Do we have a second? Just a motion? Okay, now we can open. All right, I would like to open this up for discussion. And Teresa, if you will explain to us where, where we have got to this point. I'll try to be as delicate as possible. Essentially, um, we have had numerous occasions where during their routine checks on the bathrooms, the staff have found excrement smeared on the walls, um, smeared on the stalls, on the floor. And it seems like it's happening fairly regularly. Um, we've also had graffiti written on the walls paper towels stuffed in the commodes um, so much mm -hmm. that we had to have a plumber come out to fix it because parks and rec maintenance couldn't do anything about it. So we're spending money, you know, the staff are having to endure these situations and I think that if we do install locks on the doors it will minimize those occasions. So that's why we're asking for that. I'm happy hey, to answer any, any questions. When you say locks on the doors, are you talking about the outside door and then? The doors into the bathrooms, yeah. we would require the patron to go to the circulation desk and ask for the key. Okay. And use the key to unlock the door. And I'm assuming, I'm hoping that we can find some sort of lock that will just relock where the next person would also need a key to get in. Mm -hmm. So we wouldn't have to worry about the patron locking the door back. Mm -hmm. Okay. From an HR standpoint, I'm going to tell you from a, I have, I have some concerns about, about that. I have a concern from the staff and how do you do that? And that doesn't, for me, if, if I'm managing that, then how do I still, if, if I get the key and if I go in and vandalize and I bring you the key back and then somebody else gets the key later, I'm not going to come back and say, oh, by the way, I just, I just loaded up your toilets and, and done all this other stuff, so I don't know how we do that. I have a concern about the complaints. Um, uh, if, uh, you know, how do we manage the key? How do we, you got people making decisions on who gets a key or who does, does not? We wouldn't, and that's why I split it into two items. Um, I realize that we won't be able to, you know, go and pinpoint who exactly is doing what, and that's why we would track distribution of the key so we could see if any pattern was there and then perhaps speak to the people who we see, you know, their name appearing over and over when problems do occur. Um, and we wouldn't track the amount of time the key is out for just to see whose name occurs yeah. and frequently. But it won't, it still won't, it still won't tell us who, um, uh, it won't give us, we can try to pinpoint us uh, look at videotape of who's going in or going out, but once they get to the inside of that door, no video cameras on the inside, I hope not. Uh, there are no privacy issues on, I mean, there are privacy issues on the other side, so so we still can't, we can't uh, do that. I have a concern about, about one, we really do have a problem uh, concern about staffing and how do you keep that and how do you manage that. It sounds and, and I understand that I don't want them to damage our bathrooms either, but uh, it, it become an issue. I see, uh, I see arguments, I see complaints, I see uh, perhaps folks, if, if, if we're going to use IDs or whatever, 
most of the time my, my driver's license is in my car. So if I come in to use the bathroom, then if I'm coming in to use the library bathroom or if I'm going to use it, then by the time I get in my car and back at 50, mm -hmm. it's a risk. Oh. Before then, it, it, you know, I mean, there, there are other issues there. And then I'm the type of patron who's saying, okay, you really, you know, I'm, I'm a patron and, and I'm in here all the time, but you, you and, I, and I know that somebody's vandalizing, vandalizing that. I'm just asking, could there be, I don't know the answer to how, how we, how we stop that. I just, I just see issues with people complaining and uh, they they complain about things that we don't think it's a problem now. I think it's going to open up the door for a potential uh, problem. And it may even, I'm not saying it alienate certain groups of certain races, but it could. Where, where if, if we're counting on an ID or whatever, then I, I, just have, I just have a concern about that. Because we would we have to do the same thing here. We've had some issues here where with, with the bathrooms here, and, and we just have to try to, I mean, we just have to monitor it a little bit more. I know that you're at a disadvantage because you're down the hallway. And I, and I have run in to use the bathroom and run straight out uh, as, as I was going somewhere and, 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 uh, and didn't, didn't do that. So, uh, so I know the convenience of it. I didn't vandalize them. Uh, but, but Are you sure? I'm positive. I'm positive. <laughs> That, that they're too valuable to, to do that, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know the answer other 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 than that. It, it sounds simple. I'm just concerned about the backlash of, of a public building in 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 when uh, uh, I just if we were in the police department, it wouldn't be a problem because you only got that lobby and there are no bathrooms there, but for an open building, mm -hmm. I just have, have a concern about that. Maybe, what do they, what do, they do with, like in parks and recreation during, during the summer with the ball fields and things like that? I know that... With the concession bathrooms, they're left unlocked. And we just, again, monitor uh, we do get graffiti, we do get some vandalism. Mm -hmm. We correct it and move on. Now in the winter months, we do lock the restroom starting at uh, 4.30 in the afternoon. Because you don't have events in the park. Right, and then they're opened again at 7 the next morning. Uh, because of winter months, we have mm -hmm. found that there tends to be more vandalism and other stuff going on in the restrooms when it's darker out. If I could address the point about the ID, um, yes. most of our patrons are either going to have their library card or a photo ID because they're checking materials out or using the computer and we require one or the other. So I don't think having to run out to the car to get them is going to be an issue, you know, perhaps in a couple of cases, but I think the majority of the time it won't. I know a lot, another library that has a lot of them mm -hmm. and everything and a key to their door. From, can we ask from a legal standpoint sure. where we stand? And I don't know if it, if it matters just initially. Uh, Ms. Wilbershide brought up a point about a, a log and a restroom key distribution just a moment ago, and she has that down here as a second issue, but if that's going to be part of the conversation, it might be wise to a motion to amend our original discussion to include Good. that just procedurally. If you want to do that. And then that would be great. Uh, so I need a motion to amend our first motion to include uh, our second order of business, which is the motion to track restroom key distribution on a spreadsheet. Do I have a motion? I'll make the motion. So we have a motion and we can now open our discussion. Um, so now back to the legal. I, I spent some, uh, some good amount of time researching this and this is one of those questions where you could go on researching for hours. There's, you couldn't really find any particular state statute, local ordinance or other sort of case that dealt with a public entity putting locks on restroom doors and keeping a log of patrons that use such key. Uh, Mr. Gaston brings out some good policy, uh, good or bad or different policy rationales with whether or not to use it. So that would be in the, in the board's judgment. I think legally there's not uh, any in, uh, immediate 
reason why or consequence why you could not do that, whether there might be something in the future uh, would be a, a policy consideration for you, for you guys to decide whether it's a good idea or not as a, as a, as a measure to prohibit vandalism or other you know, destruction of the bathrooms. My intent is also to address something else you said, Fred, um, not to track anything other than name and some sort of identifying number, whether it's driver's license number or library barcode number. So we're not going to be noted in gender or race. Right. Uh, it, it, I'm saying, uh, and, and I, I understand that. I'm not talking about noting that. You but I think that you'll, you'll find issues. Bathroom. You'll find issues that where we've had kids that have even been unattended in, in, in the library. We've had dealt with some employee issues um, who happen to be of, uh, Hispanic. We've had, I mean, you certain groups tend to sometimes uh, not that we're intentional. I don't think you or anybody else would be intentional with uh, with with that. I still struggle with uh, with the fact that you know whether you hold my license for two minutes or for five minutes for the sake of me going to use a public facility bathroom. I think that that is a customer service nightmare uh, to 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 do that. And I and I and I think that it warrants a lot of discussion. Uh, just you know, to, to make that decision, we, we we know that we already know how how something simple can be twisted, and it just would create. I think it would create issues um, uh, for for us. Uh, whatever this group decides, uh, certainly you uh, you can. Uh, that's that's the board's choice. But I think that you're going to have to deal with the backlash of of that becoming uh, an issue uh, down, uh, uh, down, down the road. Uh, if, if something happens, that ID is a lawsuit. Uh, uh, I mean, there are other risks that you're taking on to control the risk of a bathroom. Uh, and, and I know that, and, and I don't, it may sound like that I'm trying to fight for people who vandalize the bathroom. That's, that's not it. I clean the bathrooms here more than once. I clean them Saturday morning and do it. Uh, doing uh, doing this so so I, uh, I I've seen seen that I, uh, I, I, at Kroger we had to deal with that all all the time but not at the risk of um, creating another issue for our customers. Teresa, have you checked with other libraries to see if they have the same problem or how they I, handle? I I know of one other library um, very close to us. Mm -hmm that does lock their doors. And they do not do the they don't tracking track. of the key, no. but they do lock the doors. Right. They Is do that go Smyrna? to the front desk to pick it up. Smyrna locks the doors. Smyrna does. Smyrna locks the doors. Well, they had a lock too. They I don't know. They did. There's a lock. Has I what? They keep, I don't think they do driver's license, but there's a lock. That's interesting that then that has changed mm -hmm. within the past little bit then. So I would I would like to look into that yeah, to see awesome. if they do log it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any, anyone else have comments or discussion? No. I can understand where she's coming from, but then I know what Fred's saying too. Okay. Maybe if you I don't know. I started to say maybe if you just take their name and give them the key and don't let them. But who's got time to go in and check to see if they messed up the bathroom? We, we would continue our twice daily checks. You know, we're not intending to go in after everyone until we notice a pattern like I mentioned earlier. Then we would, you know, if number two is approved, we would track that way. And I believe occur more at night than in the day or uh, or yes across the board. It's variable times. Mm. And to my knowledge, Teresa, you're doing this with the children's bathroom right now? We're doing it with well, we've locked the children's bathrooms, yes, but we're doing the checks twice a day. We've been doing okay. it for but are you doing the key tracking yeah. with them? Yes. And how has that gone, and, and what kind of concerns we've, have you We've received? not had any, any complaints on that. Um, I'm not sure. I neglected to check how often the key does go out. I can certainly get back to you guys with that, if you would like me to. 
but to my knowledge there's not been any complaints about it. Do we have any other questions or any other discussion? Sometimes you have to do things you really don't want to do or don't like to do. Um, you're the one that's faced with that problem, Teresa. So at this time, should we divide this back again to if you're if you're wanting to investigate further or she wanted to look for some more information you can always do a motion to table the discussion yeah. until the next board meeting but I would be careful of discussing this between yourselves outside of the public eye if you're to do so but if there are certain tasks that you want to give to her or certain other things that you'd like to investigate mm -hmm. uh, for whatever reason on your own uh, it might be good to do that and then bring it back to the table once you have another public meeting yeah I I think it would be good if we did table and then let Teresa maybe do a little more checking. What would you like me to check on specifically? Have other libraries to see how it works. Have you checked with Smyrna to see how, how it works with them? Maybe Murfreesboro Line, Line Ball, Murfreesboro Line, pretty large, and then the Nashville. Uh, the one downtown on the church is pretty, pretty big. Pretty so big. Mm -hmm. kind of high traffic, uh, you know, what, what, they, what they do. And it would be interesting to see if they do use the law mm -hmm. and if they do how they do traffic. So at this point, we have a motion to table. To lay on the table. To lay on the table. The corner uh, business. <laughs> this was Sherry Falls Park. Jerry's all our house. Okay, so we have a motion to lay on the table this this order of business on uh, to install locks on public restroom doors and to track restroom key distribution on the spreadsheet. Do I have a second? I'll second. We have a second. All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Aye. So that motion is now tabled. We have no more up order of business at this time. Our next meeting will be Monday, February the 11th at 4.30. Um, Teresa, do you want to move? Do you think we could possibly move that up a month? I would have to check with Bruce to see if okay. there's a date available, but I can certainly do that. To see, perhaps that way we would give you one month, and it would not be such a long period of time in between. Okay. And I would like to go off the agenda for just a moment to say congratulations to Teresa for a fabulous 10th anniversary on the new building. Thank you. Absolutely. It was wonderful. You guys put a lot of hard work into it, and you showcased your program wonderfully. Um, it was just a really, really good day and uh, thank you for your hard work it, and for all of the staff and all of the hard work that they put into it. It was very much a team effort. And you could tell. You could tell it really was and that's great. Yes, sir. We're off the record. I'm willing to help with any fundraisers, do anything that I used to do on the committee, but still love to do that. I just do it as a volunteer. Thank you. So thank you, Brad. I'd like to do it. All right, so our next meeting uh, right now is scheduled for Monday, February the 11th at 4.30, but we will see about moving that up a month. And with no other business, this meeting is adjourned. <laughs>